I reckon that you young people who are out there taking this video are, are capable of some absolutely unreal sporting skills. Now, it could be that you've got a beautiful throw-in in your football uh, performance. It could be that you're an amazing BMX biker and you, uh, you, you run the course with really explosive speed, but excellent low technique with low air resistance. Maybe you're a magnificent dancer performing wonderful lines in ballet, or maybe, I don't know, perhaps you're a seated volleyball player and you put a set shot on a sixpence for the person that's going to spike the ball over the net. Now, it's prob probable you do some other thing, right? But all of these performances will have certain things in common. The first one, and the first one of these characteristics, is that they are learned. You have developed that skill. But some theorists argue they are based on abilities. Okay, and what that means is that we learn skills that are relevant to the abilities we're kind of born with. But make no mistake whatsoever, skills are learned. Secondly, You've also got skills which are economic, or what we might refer to as efficient. That doesn't mean that they make you money necessarily, they might. It means there's no waste. And when I mean, when I talk about no waste, it's not what you put in your bin. We're talking about of energy or time. So no waste of energy or time. It's done in an efficient economic manner. And therefore, of course, it can be repeated. Economic is a characteristic of skill. Let's take this further. Your skills in those real peak things that you do, they will be consistent to some degree. Now, this means that they are the same-ish each time. Now, if you're doing things that are kind of closed skills, basic, non-complex, that's really likely to be the case. If you're doing things that need more adaptation, like let's say defending in basketball, it might be that it's not quite as consistent because there's so many more variables to it. Nevertheless, you're likely to be consistent. We would expect that skills you are performing are controlled. Now that kind of, in some ways, summarizes everything we've talked about so far. It's controlled, it's done effectively, and we'll come to these points in a second. It's, it's doing what it's aimed to achieve. A couple more points before we look at some others. We're gonna say that your skill is likely to be fluent. What do we mean by the word fluent? Well, we're talking here about the notion that it's smooth in its performance. We could also be saying, really crucially, that it's flowing. I really like the word flowing here. The characteristic of skill is, is, um, is, uh, is fluent. Now, let's take it further. The skill will be adaptable. Now, as I mentioned before, this is particularly the case with open complex skills because you need to be able to adapt them, right? But they're adaptable in complex situations in open situations, you know, producing potentially novel, unique responses based on the environment you find yourself in. Adaptable is a characteristic of skill. We're also arguing that skill for performance is aesthetically pleasing. To be clear, this means it's beautiful to the eye. It means that it's good to look at. We recognize it as correct technical model. Let me simply say that the skill looks beautiful. Now you might wanna be connecting ideas like aesthetically pleasing as a characteristic of skill with economic. They're kind of related to each other. We know that something's economic because we can sort of see its beauty and its efficiency in the performance. Let's go a touch further. These two link to each other very closely but skills are goal-oriented. They're there for a specific outcome. This ball, hopefully, is gonna find the recipient that this performer wants it to go to. That means that the skill is predetermined. We have an outcome in mind, and we are trying to achieve <laughs> that outcome. Goal-oriented and predetermined are characteristics of skill. Now, to finish this off, a couple of additional points. We find that skills, a skillful performance is precise and accurate. Now I say this cautiously because some skillful performance are not that precise and accurate. They're more power and strength based, but where precision and accuracy is required, skillful performance is precise and accurate. And final point from me folks, before you get out of here and finally had rid of me for the day, skillful, skillful performance follows the correct technical model. It is the correct technique. Now beware, some performers have a completely unique te unique technique that's not the technical model and it works for them magnificently anyway. These are the characteristics of skill. Hope that's useful, cheers.